Hi guys, welcome to Kira Crunch. This is Roshan Zameer. Okay, so today's topic is uh, just somewhat uh, some interesting topic, which is uh, some theoretical, which is agile versus uh, waterfall model. So now nowadays you could have heard more about uh, uh, agile. Okay, so now the organizations and most of the organizations are changing to from waterfall model to agile. Uh, so the thing is, uh, today we are going to see what this makes the huge change, drastic change from waterfall model to the agile. The thing is, uh, for for more over, over a decade, we were using the model waterfall model, and it was a successful model, and also it is a traditional model. Okay, uh, but uh, uh, I think uh, due due to some uh, some uh, differences, okay, more differences. Uh, uh, now we have been changing the technology has been changing, the process has been changing from agile waterfall model to agile. So let's see how this happens and what are the main differences in it. Okay, okay, all right. So in a waterfall model, if you see, uh, we have a thing is the designs that happens. Uh, uh, in a in a prayer phase it has a like a, a sequential way it happens for example analysis design coding testing and implementation everything happens as a, a very sequential manner okay so that's the reason uh, it can be tell as a sequential approach okay and if you take uh, whereas an agile it is like a, it's a incremental approach okay uh, not uh, will not be uh, waiting for anything if it will be uh, done parallelly okay the uh, testers won't be wait uh, for uh, uh, whole code to be delivered okay they will be uh, getting testing the um, most of the uh, once the chunks of the small chunks of uh, code has been delivered they'll be starting testing okay so here that is the reason for uh, coming to a concept of called mvp okay this is nothing but a minimum viable product okay uh, minimum viable product Okay, but here, if you see in waterfall model, uh, the thing is, uh, we need to wait for uh, um, big releases. Maybe it may be one month release, or it may be it may be two month release or something. Okay, so that's the main uh, difference between if you see the agile and waterfall model. Okay, and the next one is if you come across uh, any design changes, uh, always the agile welcomes the design change. Okay, that's the main thing. But in a waterfall model, design changes not welcome. Okay. Okay. they won't be welcoming the design changes they will be moving those changes to the next releases okay so this is the main uh, uh, I, I think this is the main uh, disadvantage of waterfall model okay maybe uh, it, it, it is uh, anyway maybe disadvantage for the waterfall model but uh, uh, we cannot tell us a waterfall model is uh, not a good one okay uh, since we have used for over uh, more long days uh, uh, we can tell that that's a good approach but uh, uh, some of due to the uh, now recent days of due to the fast delivery and fast continuous continuous integration delivery, uh, Agile is, uh, uh, has this um, design changes welcoming the design changes is a mere very uh, apt for this. Okay, for this uh, kind of uh, century. Okay, all right. So then the next uh, the main phase is like uh, uh, in the each sprint uh, for each sprint uh, we have a. Uh, uh, test plan reviews okay so test plans can be reviewed okay test plans review um, happens okay but I don't think in a waterfall model that won't be uh, any uh, reviews that kind of things okay happening so that's a uh, um, no no much review okay we cannot tell us that there is no won't be but there's no much review happens okay and also here we can have a daily touch point calls uh, but here in waterfall model we no don't have any uh, touch point calls okay so it is a uh, another one more uh, big advantage disadvantage in a waterfall model okay all right so based on these uh, changes we can tell like uh, mm, the agile gives the way for a continuous delivery and continuous integration okay so we are getting the product as a fast delivery okay and not to wait for a long days the customer need not to wait for more days to uh, to see their to enjoy their product okay so this gives the way for a concept of called devops
okay so devops is nothing but uh, that the continuous delivery or continuous deployment and continuous integration takes place with the help of the team which is called a devops team which comprises of development and operation teams okay so we will be seeing much more on devops topic later okay uh, so this is the overall picture and uh, of uh, agile versus uh, waterfall model so due to these uh, main reasons okay this due to these uh, uh, advantage and disadvantages between the both the things uh, uh, agile brings a, a huge uh, um, huge blow to the waterfall model and uh, that's the reason now most of the organization has been moved from the waterfall model to agile and they are following a lot of methodologies like scrum kanban extreme programming so etc okay so this is the main thing for agile and waterfall model and in upcoming sessions we will be seeing what's mean by devops okay right hope uh, this helps you to know what's mean by the agile okay uh, to have any doubts just please uh, leave a comments and uh, please subscribe uh, this channel okay thanks for watching thank you bye